Okay, so the rain is back, but it, it looks like fall out there, so that's it, something. It, it does. So a lot of the trees are already starting to kind of shed their layer of green and give us some vibrant colors, but some trees are already starting to near peak. So with the chance for some heavier downpours, maybe even some gusty winds, some of these sites could potentially be coming to an end as a lot of the leaves are expected to start to fall. It's only a few tree varieties. We're talking about some of the maple trees, a lot of the ash trees and the locust trees, which are already almost bear are all a potential to lose their leaves within the next several days because of the onslaught at the fall like rains that are expected to return to much of the Pacific Northwest. You can see this widespread cloud coverage. That is the onslaught of moisture that will be pushing its way back into Western Oregon and Southwest Washington. As far as the coastal spots go seaside right now, definitely holding on to those soggy like conditions as a few splash and dash showers continue to push their way on shore. But for the Portland Vancouver metro area, just mostly cloudy skies right now. I would not be surprised if you pick up on a single raindrop or two as we work our way through the rest of this afternoon. So the cloud coverage is just the same as we take a live look out over downtown Portland on this Tuesday afternoon. 63 degrees, that's where we currently sit, keeping those cloudy skies as we manage to get back up into the mid 60s. That's all we muster up for the afternoon hours with maybe a splash and dash shower later this evening. But as far as our weather pattern change goes, a ridge of high pressure that brought us the summer like sunshine over the weekend weekend just even yesterday as well. It's now on the move over the central plains as this upper level trough, a low pressure system swings its way through the Pacific Northwest, not only bringing back the chance for rain, but we were talking about some chilly daytime highs, maybe even potentially some of the coldest afternoon temperatures we've seen since about the month of May, and that's going to stick with us all the way through Thursday and into Friday before a ridge of high pressure yet again brings back those sunny and mild conditions just in time for the weekend. So let's time everything out with the future cast. Maybe a few light rain showers pushing their way through our area later this evening for your commute. And then we start to see some heavier downpours for the start of the day on Wednesday. This is one of the systems that's going to be sliding its way through our area. It's in the mid morning hours where we could potentially see some thunderstorm activity, not only for Wednesday, but into Thursday as well. And of course, we are talking about the return of some snowfall for the higher elevations. Now, as far as the rain accumulation goes for the I-5 quarter, close to about a tenth to a quarter quarter, if not even closer to a half inch of rain is a possibility with that thunderstorm potential ramping up for much of the Pacific Northwest. We don't necessarily see that thunderstorm threat for the high terrain because we're talking about snow, snow elevation levels dipping down close to about 5000 feet. We dry things out though by Friday as the snow accumulation starts to pile up once again over Oregon's highest peak. Our seven day forecast for the city though does call for some wet weather. That's for the next several days, and that's going to be dropping our temperatures into the upper 50s in many cases. But you'll notice as we work our way towards Friday into Saturday, the potential to see some drier, sunnier skies highs back into the mid 60s. But even those overnight lows Thursday into Friday, we're talking about the low 40s. And for those early morning lows, again, it's been about since May. We're not quite used to it. Mm -hmm. It'll be a bit of a shock to the system to see these cooler than what we have seen temperatures. Okay, so Saturday for people that haven't like gone to a pumpkin patch or yeah. anything, that could be a good day. That will At likely be a good day. Right now, fingers crossed. Yeah, just yes. uh, pack the boots because it'll likely be muddy. You know, it, it looks more Oregon that way. It does. Anyway, okay, we'll be right <laughs> back. Stick around.